spade parade. I'm a private eye. It isn't the best job in the world, but... Van, worthy heiress, thrice divorced, and mother of none. These are the Weisenheimers, my consultants. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Well, come on in. Take a load off your feet. What can I do for you? I am in search of a valuable gold nugget. It is in the desert of Arizona, and I need your help. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, tell me something about it? Well, yes, it's about this size. The size of a hockey puck. It's buried under a cactus plant. Of course, I've heard of it before. I'm not surprised. It's the famous yucca puck, said to be worth its weight in gold. Precisely. This is a map of its exact location. Now, there are two ways to reach the puck. One route is safe. The other route leads to certain death. Mm, well, look, lady, if you want my advice, uh, take the safe route. Oh, but that's just it. It is? I don't know the safe route. That's why I hired the Weisenheimers. They know the safe route. Well, uh, say, come on, guys, what do you say? Which is the safe route? Take the North Path. Take the South Path. Take the North Path. Well, there it is. The North Path has it. But how can I be sure? Well, two of the three guys said take the North Path. Here's something you don't know. The Weisenheimers are... Strange consultants. Really? Why is that? People actually listen to them? Yes, plus the fact that one of them always lies, one of them always tells the truth, and one of them sometimes lies and sometimes tells the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that is unusual. How did it happen? Well, they were in advertising. Hmm. Well, I've got one question for you guys. Which of you tells the truth? Uh, I do. I do. I do. It's hopeless. Now, now, lady, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Why don't you uh, watch another sketch or something? I'll be right back. This is tougher than I thought. Triangle. I'm back. Hi. Uh, hi. Well, Miss Van Vandervan, when we last spoke, you said your consultants, the Weisenheimers, were named Tom, Dick, and Harry. Yes. And Tom always tells the truth. Good for Tom. Mm -hmm. Dick never tells the truth. And Harry sometimes tells the truth. But the problem is, I don't know which Weisenheimer is which. Mm -hmm. Well, while I was away, I made these Tom, Dick, and Harry hats. They should help us keep things straight. Let's get started. Now, who are you? I'm Tom. You see, he could be Tom and telling the truth. Or he could be Dick lying and saying he's Tom. Or he could be Harry, for that matter, also lying. You never can tell about Harry. What I hate are these consultants who make no sense and cost me a bloody fortune. Yes, well, let's move on, Miss Van Dan Van Van der Van. Now, who are you? I'm Dick. Dick, huh? Now we're getting somewhere. How? Well, now, is this guy really Dick? I don't think so, because Dick always lies. If he is Dick, then he would have to lie and say that he isn't Dick. But he can't be Tom either, because then he'd have to tell the truth and say, I'm Tom. Right, so that only leaves us one possibility. He's not Tom, he's not Dick, he must be Harry. You get the Harry hat. But that still doesn't tell us which one is Tom. Mm-hmm. Moving right along. Who are you? There is something wrong here. I'm Harry. Uh, there's definitely nothing wrong here, pal. We already have a Harry, and it's not you. He must be lying. He can't be Tom. He's Dick. Right. And that means you're Tom. That's what I've been trying to tell you all from the start. Oh, we couldn't be sure until now. Well, case solved, Miss Van Vandervan. Now all you have to do is ask Tom the safe path to the yucca puck and take it. Or you could always ask Dick, and whatever he says, take the opposite path. Oh, thank you, Mr. Parade. You've made me a happier and soon-to-be wealthier woman, and had a wonderful time. Yeah, that's great. What about your consultants? Have uh, you guys had a good time? I have. Uh, maybe. Not me. Huh. Is that the truth? Yes. I'm kind of undecided. Yes, it is, and I hate your hat, and your office is a business. Tom. And that tie belongs to the 1942 DeSoto. And your eyes are too close together, and you're too thin for your own. Good. 